Hey Walsh fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Baldwin Lacquer. In today's video, we are doing another segment of the huge Facebook Marketplace haul of nail polish that I got for $400. This is over 2,000 bottles and this is going to be digging into the third tote. We do still have two more totes after this. One of which, at least from what I can tell, seems to be mostly mainstream polishes. I'm seeing some L'Oreal, some Maybelline, Revlon, and things like that. I might see a few indies over in the corner. Um, it's kind of far away from me, but for the most part, it looks like it might be mostly mainstreams. This one, however, has more indies and I think some mainstreams because I think this is a mainstream brand that is Nubar. But this tote also has a few more of the Vapid Bath and Body products as well as some nail art supplies. So I see a little stamper right off hand and more boxes of nail polish. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right in to tote number three. This is again part number 23 already. So if you've missed any of them, I'll put the little playlist up there. All right, first up, let's go ahead and do this KPT. This is one of the brands that we've been finding in the boxes. This one is Nalani, and this one is a glitter polish. So it appears to be a dark blue, maybe jelly base with a load of holographic glitters. There's also a pretty predominant particle that I'm seeing as a purple, although I don't think it's as strong on camera. This is a really pretty color and I know we haven't seen this polish yet, so we're gonna add this to the keep pile. I know I've said this in every single video, but in case you missed it, I will be doing a huge sorting video at the end of all of this. And then from there, try to group together some polishes that I know I need to do comparisons of. But for the time being, this one's gonna go in the keep pile. That was a KPT's Nalani. Next up we have, oh, a cute one from Julep. Look at this one. This one is Emerson from Classic with a Twist. I have never seen this finish from them and it's adorable. So this is a speckled polish in like a light, almost acid wash denim, not quite. It's still got a bit more blue than I would say a normal acid wash color, but it is full of these matte black glitters in at least a couple of different sizes. This is gonna look so cute on. I know I don't have this one, so this is going in the keep pile. That was Julep's Emerson. Next up, let's do one of these new bars. This one is called Reef Green. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure this one is a mainstream brand. These are made in the US and I think I have heard of them. I'm pretty sure I've run across bottles before, but I can't actually recall seeing them in a store. So I don't really know where they're stocked, but this is a light shade of green, maybe a pinch on the limey side. There is a shimmer component to this one as well. This is not my favorite shade of green. I have been keeping some in the brighter tones. This is definitely not super bright, but I don't know. I mean, it could be cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was going to cut it because it is kind of limey, but I don't know. I actually kind of think this could be one that I might like. I don't know. We're going to give it a shot though, because I know I don't have this bottle. I don't know that I actually own any bottles from this brand. <laughs> Again, after this, I'm going to have a whole lot of polish to swatch, compare, and try out. But that one's going to go in the keep pile for now. That was our first new bar, Reef Green. Next up, we've got a Stardust polish. This one is called Janie. Ooh, and we've got a dark pink hollow. So I don't think we've got this one before. We have gotten quite a few from this brand in this haul, but I don't think we've gotten this one. Now this is a shade range of pink that I do really enjoy for summer. This is another one though that I'm gonna have to do a load of comparisons of because yeah, I just really enjoy this one on. This is a, a beautiful color. So again, comparisons will have to be coming up, but this one's gonna go in the keep pile for now. That is Stardust Polish Janie. Let's do a Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Fortissimo. Oh, wow. So this one is a very dark brown. So I definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. Browns are kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes I love the tone, but trying to see to think if I might like this on. It is a very dark color. Uh, I think I'm just not as excited about it as I have been other colors. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in the D-Stash. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge's Fortissimo. Next up is another new bar. This one is called New Bar 2010. 
and this is an iridescent glitter. So I love iridescent glitter. This one has some beautiful shifts. You're seeing that orange glow at the top of the bottle. Down here, I'm seeing basically the entire rainbow. You've got green, yellow, blue, and purple. It all just depends on the angle. So this is a beautiful shifter. It's another one I know I don't have. I, again, will have to do comparisons of all of my glitter toppers because I do have a number of them at this point, but I would like to see how this compares. It's possible it might have a slightly different shift, but we'll have to see. In the meantime, that's going to go in the keep pile. That was a new bars number 2010. All right, next we have a Vapid Moisturizing Body Mist in Quiet Morning. So these I've been setting aside to try to do some research on and see if they are safe to use, if they have an expiration date and all of that jazz. Quiet morning. Let's see how this smells. Hmm, kind of like a clean scent, like a mix between lavender and slightly sweet, but there's also something that kind of smells like fresh laundry or something like that. It's an interesting mix. We'll have to see if I end up reusing these or what the case is on those, but that one was the Vapid Moisturizing Body Mist in Quiet Morning. These also are not counting towards the overall bottle count of the nail polish. Next up, we've got another one from Nubar. Ooh, look at this one. Wow. This one is called Indigo Illusion. Ooh. So this one has a really beautiful dusty blue base. Then you have that shift. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh yeah, that is definitely going to the keep pile. I am curious how it would compare to a few of the other polishes that I have, but the shifts that you're seeing in that fuchsia to purple also have a golden, slightly orange leaning glow at the top from my angle back here. So this is a stunning mix and I know I don't have it. So this is going to go in the keep pile. That is Nubar's Indigo Illusion. All right, next up, we have another julep. This one is called Rochelle and it was from the It Girl line. This one is a like metallic berry magenta. Very pretty. I'm trying to see if there's a bit, yeah, like almost a rose gold, at least in person. I think on camera, it's coming off a bit oranger than that. Slight duochrome-ness to this one. We're going to put this in the do I own it pile because I do have a lot of julep polishes. I had the subscription box for a number of years, so I do have a lot from them, but I'm not sure if I own this one. So we'll check on that. That was Julep's Rochelle. Next up, we have another from KPT. This one is called Light Years. Ooh, we have more hollow. This is a lot of holographic glitter. I think it might even be tiny, tiny uh, bar glitters. Yeah, look at that. How cute. So I really enjoy bar glitters. I know I have a few bottles of them. So this is going to be one that I compare to those. But this is a really cute mix. And I know I don't have this one from this brand. Here it is on the brush. Hopefully you can see, yeah, definitely those little teeny tiny bar glitters right there. That is such a cute little mix. So that's definitely going in the cute pile. That was KPT's, oh, it doesn't have a little butt label. Oh no. But that one was Light Years, assuming of course that that is the name of the bottle that was in the box. We're gonna go with it. I'll look it up just to make sure. If I need to, I might be able to take the little sticker off of the box, but we'll see. All right. Next up, we have another Stardust polish. This one is Prototype 54. Ooh, we've got a hollow. This one has a very strong, like, bronze glow, as well as that linear hollow flame. I can't quite tell if that bronze is an indication of the base as well, or just an additional shimmer. It is coming off mainly as a brown, though, there on the brush. So I think I will go ahead and pass this one along. I've definitely, again, been more excited about other colors. So we'll put that one in the D stash. That was Stardust Polish Prototype 54. Next up, we have a CBL. This one is In Your Eyes. It was a polish of the month for January 2019. Ooh, this is one of our more recent polishes, considering we've ran into quite a few from 2015 to 2017. And we have another hollow. Wow, look at that. So this is another dark blue hollow. This is another color category of hollows that I will definitely need to be doing some comparisons of. This one I think does have like an aqua glow or shimmer in it. You can see that at certain angles. And I don't think this is one that we've run across so far. I know we have seen a few duplicate bottles, but 
I'm not sure about this one. So again, I'll, I'm going to do that sorting video at the end, but it'll go in the keep pile for now. I love this deep tone of blue with that gorgeous hollow. So that one is Colors by row in your eyes. Next up, we have another Stardust polish. This one is Rose. Ooh, we have another hollow. This one still needs quite a mix. I did give it a bit of a shake, but it still needs a lot more shaking to redisperse the pigmentation, but you can still get a really good view of that hollow. There's also an additional shimmer, a little bit of a warm glow there. I think we might get a better color indication here on the brush. Yeah, this is kind of like a rosewood color. This is beautiful. This is actually a tone of polish that I'd been looking for a few years ago, and I don't know that I ever really found something that really hit the nail on the head exactly for this tone, so this is definitely going in the keep pile. This one is Stardust Polish Rose. Next up, we have another glitter polish from Nubar. Ooh, this one might be a bit dried out. This one is called Prize. All right, so not as dried out as I thought. It might be a bit gloopy, but this is a fuchsia or magenta holographic glitter. This is a beautiful shade. Again, another one I know I don't have since I don't have any, to my knowledge, of this brand in my collection. Oh yeah, a bit on the sticky side, but this seems to be a full coverage glitter. Oh yeah, look at that just packed in there. This is definitely one that could be revived with a little bit of thinner, so this is going to go in the keep pile. Technically, it's going to go in the can I fix it pile, but I know I can fix this one. Uh, this one also has an additional component in there. I don't know if you can see those little purple sparkles that pop up. There's something else in there, and I can't tell if it's an additional holographic glitter or if it's a larger particle shimmer, but yeah, down there, I think you can see that sort of a purple or fuchsia glow at certain angles. So yeah, beautiful mix. I think it should be fairly unique to my collection as well. So going in the can I fix it pile. Next up, we have another from Stardust Polish. Look at the shimmer on this one. This one is called Galactic Helix. Wow, this is a beautiful one. I don't know if all of the colors are going to come across. There you can see some of the shimmer, which I think on camera is mainly coming off as a gold, but there's hollow in here and that shimmer has a green shift to it as well as some blue and maybe purple, all in this really gorgeous, very deep like maroon berry shade. This is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Another one I know I don't have. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is just stunning. Look at all the twinkles. Definitely going to the keep pile, you guys. This one is amazing. So that is Stardust Polish Galactic Helix. Yeah, I wish more of the shifts were coming off. I think you're mainly seeing the gold and orange, but beautiful one. Let's do this little guy because that is catching my attention. This might be a nail art little gold flakies so it doesn't have any information about branding or anything but these would be like gold leaf type flakies not a gold flaky where it's a faux metallic like this actually has a metal finish so there's different types of metallic glitters or flakies or shards some have a a like a shiny metallic finish, but there are some that have more of a specific, like almost think crunk, crinkled up tin foil. Like if you were to really crinkle up tin foil and then smooth it out and cut it into teeny tiny little shapes, I'm, I don't know if you guys can see those, but they've got a specific texture. They don't look anything like a typical gold glitter flaky. So I'm very curious about these. These are definitely going to go in the keep pile. They're beautiful on. I have a polish, I think, from Glam. Yes, it's Glam polish. I will keep these lights up until the day I die or something along those lines. And it has white gold flakies in it. And they are just a really interesting touch on the nail. I really love that one. So those are going in the keep pile. Again, unsure of brand or anything like that. All right, next up, we've got a Cult Nails. This one is called Captivated. Now, this name is ring, ringing a bell. Yep, this is another duplicate bottle. So I have, actually, uh, this is a third, the third bottle of this because I remember this difference 
from the first time. So this is the bottle that I kept. This is a bottle that is the exact same as the one that I de-stashed because first of all they are the same bottle. They are the same named bottle of polish. However, check out the difference here. This one, as well as the other one that I put in the de-stash, have like white glitters in them, which this one does not. So I don't know if there was like a mix-up in one of the batches and some of the glitters faded into white or if an, a different glitter was used accidentally or what the case is, but I do already have one in the keep pile. So this one is going to go into the de-stash along with the other one. Let's just see if I can distinguish if they are white glitters. Yeah, I think they're white glitters. I don't know if they're, they're going to be very distinct on camera, but see that one right there? I mean, that strikes me as just a white matte glitter. Oops, now I'm making a mess. So yeah, they are different. Now I'm like second guessing if I want to keep a bottle with those little white matte glitters. I think I will go ahead and hold on to one of each to do a comparison of and see if it makes a difference when they're swatched on. Um, I love the tone of these. So we'll go ahead. I mean, there's already one of these in the D-Stash. I might as well hold on to the third bottle and do a comparison and see if there's a noticeable difference when they're swatched. So that was the third bottle of Captivated. Next up, we have another Stardust polish. This one is Prototype 57. Ooh, we have another purple with more holographic glitter. This is a beautiful, juicy, but deep shade of purple. It, of course, has those holographic glitters. And there's something else twinkling away. You see those blue flashes? I don't know if that's a second kind of hollow. So there's definitely other things going on. There are those little red speckles and the blue. So I don't know if there's multiple different kinds of hollow or just multiple different kinds of glitter with maybe some iridescence in there. But it is a really beautiful combination and I don't think we've run into this one. I, again, will have to do that sorting video at the end. That's going to go in the keep pile. That was Prototype 57 from Stardust Polish. Next up, let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one has become one. Ooh, this is interesting. So this is like a pureed fresh pea, not pea soup. It's got a brightness to it. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Greens, I am a little bit fussy on. <laughs> uh, I realize that. Um, there it is on the wand. I am curious enough about this, though, to see how I might like it on compared to some other shades of green that I am keeping. And again, it is a cream formula, and I am trying to make sure that I have a lot of different cream colors, all the different shade ranges, depths, all of that stuff. So I don't know that I have one anywhere near this just yet, so I would be curious how it would compare. So we're going to go ahead and hold on to that one. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge Become One. Next up, we have another Stardust Polish. This is Backseat Bingo. Ooh, we've got another dark blue. This one has a different kind of glitter than we've seen in the other polishes. This time it's like a metallic or, yeah, like a very dark metallic glitter. Look at that. This looks beautiful in this base. I'm definitely curious to see how this one will swatch. Oh yeah, on the the wand portion of this, the clear wand portion, you can definitely see those twinkles and the color of that blue. So this is another one I don't think we've run into, so we're going to put that in the keep pile as well. That was Backseat Bingo from Stardust Polish. Next up, we have another Stardust Polish. This one is called Snazzy. Ooh, look at this color. So this is like a bright aqua. It's got a pinch of that mint lean to it, but there's definitely more of a brightness to it than some of the other minty shades. I mean, maybe it could be called a mint as well, but this is a beautiful color. There is a mix of different gold elements in here. I'm seeing some holographic, some flakies, and maybe a something else. Yeah, there might be a tiny, tiny little maybe silver holographic adding a rainbow of twinkles. I think you can kind of see those in that cluster there, as well as those larger flakies. This color is definitely catching my eye. I think this could be beautiful for summer. So yeah, this is going to the keep pile as well. I really like this tone. So that is Stardust Polish Snazzy. Next up, we have another Vapid Moisturizing Body Mist, this time in Unicorn Milk. Now, this one does have its little seal on it, so again, I'm going to put these ones aside and look into if they are reusable, if they go bad, have an expiration date, and all of that. But that was another Vapid Moisturizing Body Mist in Unicorn Milk. 
going in our Bath and Body section. All right, next up we have another from New Bar. This one is called Black Polka Dot. It does have black polka dots, look at that. So this appears to be a very, very light black tinted base. If that, maybe it's even just a clear base. There you go. So it's a clear base with black glitters in a couple of different sizes. And I think there's also an iridescent glitter in there. I don't know if that one's gonna catch the light. See those like little yellow and green flashes? There's definitely something else in here. Very neat mix. So this is pretty unique to my collection. So this is a keeper as well. That is Nubar's Black Polka Dot. Next up, we have another Stardust Polish. This one is called Kinda Jazzy. Ooh, we have more of those hollow glitters, this time in a blue base. So this one would be kind of comparable, at least in formulation, to the Prototype 57. That one was a purple. Actually, I think the glitter sizes in the uh, in Kinda Jazzy are larger but kind of similar at least it reminded me of that prototype this time we have those bigger holographic glitters there's also something shining in green which might be another metallic glitter or that could just be a shift in the hollow glitters but this is another gorgeous combination so this is definitely going in the keep pile as well this is another color category or type of polish that i'm going to have to do comparisons of but it is gorgeous so we're going to hold on to that one so that is stardust polish kind of jazzy all right, next up we have another julep, and this one is Kara, and it is part of their bombshell line. This one is like a red-leaning pink. Yeah, definitely a red-leaning pink. There's definitely that like velvety red tone to this, and then it has that bright pink flash to it. There's also a secondary shimmer, yeah, right there, sort of a silver across there as well. This one is a nice shade. Um Again, with colors red, I am still a bit on the finicky side, and I've definitely kept others that are are kind of similar in vibe to this that I liked better. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. That was Julep's Cara, or Cara. Next up, we've got another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called No, I'm Still Tacky, and I'm guessing that is in reference to nail polish uh, dryness level. <laughs> this is a red. This one has the holographic in it. Now, this one isn't quite as linear as I feel like a lot of the other holographics from Colors by Laura have been. So my guess is this was intentional. They're aiming more for a like metallic gleam, a scattering of that holographic. It's kind of got a dusty, almost burgundy tone to it. This one is really nice. Um, this kind of red is in that grouping of the darker shades of red that I do actually like. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in the keep pile. That's Colors by LaRoe. No, I'm still tacky. Next up, we have another Stardust polish. We have hit quite the stash of Stardust polishes. This one is Future's Fate. Ooh, we have another purple. This time, I think it's a... Well, I was going to say a duochrome or a multichrome, but I think it might just be a metallic. There is a holographic in a blackened base and then a very vivid purple glow. Wow. So I'm not really seeing any shifts offhand. Yeah, mainly I'm just seeing that purple glow against this base. I want to at least see this one swatched. Um, I have been destashing a lot of these blackened polishes, but I want to see how this comes out on the nail. Because of how strong that purple glow is, this could come off basically looking like a purple polish, but with a whole lot of depth going on because of that blackened base. So that one's going to go in the keep pile. That was Stardust Polish Futures Fate. Next up, we have a Lacquer Lust. We've run into only a handful of these from this haul so far, and this one seems to have lost its little label. But we have another purple, this time in a dusty shade, kind of like a dusty plum. Yeah, like a dusty plum. There's a larger shimmer particle in here and a brighter fuchsia to maybe a light pink. I think there might be two different kinds of particles in here. This one does seem to be on the squishy side. Yeah, I think this might even be a jelly. You can see how translucent it is on the wand there. This one has some really nice twinkles and this seems like it's actually gonna be pretty unique in my collection. A lot of the purple polishes that I have in this tone are a cream. This could make a really nice topper over those creams. So we're gonna put that in the keep pile. That was Lacquer Lusts 
no name. We got to find out which one this one is. Next up, <gasps> we've got a Rogue. It's a Rogue Lager. So this is another brand that I really, really like. And this is our first one from this haul. And this one also has no name tag on the base. So not sure which one this is. We have been finding a few miscellaneous labels here and there. Not sure if any of them go to this. So yeah, we'll have to maybe do some research on which one this one might be. But this is beautiful. You have a purple dusty base. There's holographic, a very strong shimmer, which you're actually catching as the red side. I'm seeing a vivid green in person from my angle. There are, of course, those flakies that you're seeing in at least two different kinds. This is beautiful. So without knowing the name of this, I can't really say for sure if I don't own it or not. Oh my goodness, look at the big flaky on the brush there. Oh my goodness. But it's a purple and it's our first Rogue Lacquer. So this is going in the collection. That is Rogue Lacquer's Unknown. Have to find out about that name. Next up, we have another Colors by La Roe. This one is a lot more help sucking up. <laughs> This is another shade of purple. I love this one. So this is actually like a grapey, more vibrant shade of purple than a lot of the hollows that we've run into before, but it still has that amazing hollow from CBL. Just an amazing linear flare. So again, love this tone. This is definitely going in the keep pile. This one actually might have to make it to my favorites. This is beautiful. There's also a little shimmer particle in there, kind of a rose gold or champagne. So that one was a lot more help sucking up from CBL. Next up, we've got a Stardust polish. This one is called Fireball. Ooh, so this one does have hollow in it as well, but the main feature of this one seems to be that beautiful base. This has a little bit of a red tone to it. I would say this is like a light burgundy tone. You have that pop of a fuchsia in the shimmer or maybe even like a multi-chrome shift because I'm seeing some gold and orange at the edge of the bottle. I think you can see that nice twinkle of the almost linear uh, holographic in this one as well. So this is another one that I don't think we've run into yet. It is really pretty. I love this shade range of fuchsia to magentas and yeah, I'd like to see at least how this compares to the other ones that I've kept so far. So that one was Stardust Polish Fireball. Next up is another CBL. This one is called Big Mistake. Big, huge. I'm sure that's a quote from something. <laughs> this is a dusty shade of rosy pink. You have that beautiful, warm, golden glow across the face of this. It has a bit of an orange lean to it as well, maybe a coppery shift. This is actually a combination that I like with gold, especially this specific tone of pink. This strikes me as kind of that classic first mix of pink and gold that everyone made in like eyeshadow. When was that? Like 10, 15, maybe even more years ago. So really pretty. I don't think I have a nail polish like this. I will of course have to come back and double check on all of that, do comparisons, but this is one I know we haven't run into yet. So that is going to go in the keep pile. That's Colors by La Roe. Big mistake. Big, huge. Next up is another Stardust Polish. This one is called Cold Fusion. Ooh, so this is a silver holographic, but like a slightly darker silver hollow. Maybe like a light pewter. This has a really nice tone to it. This should definitely stand out among the other silver hollows because there is that metallic-ness in it instead of just a silver hollow. I think you can see that metallic there and then there's the hollow so this should look really interesting on let me know if you want to see this in that silver holographic comparisons video that I'm still compiling I would imagine it's pretty different but we'll see how it goes in any case that was stardust polish cold fusion going in the keep pile next up we have another stardust polish this one is patty Ooh, so this is a deeper dusty purple it's got a pinch of like a berry lean to it again has beautiful hollow i think there's also a shimmer in this one as well you can see that warmer flash there this should be pretty unique to my collection as well especially among the other purple shades that i have so this is going to go in the collection as well that's stardust polish patty 
Next up, we have another Stardust polish. This one is another prototype, number 67. Ooh, this is a beautiful shade of a bright, like magenta pink. It has a hot pink flash in it, as well as a linear hollow. This is really nice. This is also a kind of pink that I really like for summer. So another color category that I am definitely going to have to do some comparisons of, but this is going to go in the keep pile. That's Stardust Polish Prototype 67. Next up, we've got another CBL. This one is called Butt Dial Group Custom from 2019. Ooh. This has beautiful shifts in it that are very similar to UP. I'm wondering if they are maybe a UP sibling shift. Look at that. You've got a very strong red and hopefully some of the other shifts will come through. I think you're seeing the orange there. But there's green in here, a very vibrant shade of green at certain angles. So just not coming across very well on camera. This is a nice, squishy, dusty, but kind of vibrant at the same time shade of blue. Very beautiful. Love the shifts, of course. So this is definitely going in the keep pile. That is Colors by LaRoe, but dial. <gasps> oh, I see a Great Lakes Lacquer. I think we've only unboxed a couple of these so far. This is another brand that I really, really like. And this is Love Times 5. Ooh, this is a nice one. Look at the flakies. So this is a dusty shade of like a duck egg blue. You have hollow and these crushed multi-chrome flakies in a bunch of different colors. I'm seeing bronze, green, purple fuchsia. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. This is definitely a color I don't have and for sure one I could see myself wearing. I absolutely love this kind of a finish on the nail. There's also some shimmer you can see down there twinkling away in like indigos, blues, and aquas. Beautiful one for sure going in the collection. That was Great Lakes Lacquer, Love Times 5. Next up, we have an Emily Damali. I think this is our first one of this video. This one is limited edition 145. Ooh, ooh, look at this one. So this has like a multi-chrome base in a dark blue, maybe some purple. No, the base itself is like a very dark, inky navy. At least I think that's what I'm seeing there on the neck. But there is something in here that is giving purple vibes. I think that might be the shimmer or the multi-chrome pigment. You see that purple intermixed with the blue on the wand there. There's also a scattering of holographic glitter. This is beautiful. There's also like a copper. I think that's coming off as more of a rosy fuchsia, but that is a copper from my angle. So this is another stunning color. Ooh, and gold and green. Again, the green is playing camera shy. Man, but there you can see some of that warmer shift. This is one I don't think I have. I've mentioned it before. Um, Emily Damali is another of my favorite brands, and I do have quite a number of their limited editions, but I don't know that I have that many in the 100s, and I definitely didn't have any in the single digits. We actually ran into number three and four in one of the other videos, and those were kept for sure. So I want to put this in the keep pile, but I think I will put it in the do I have it pile just to confirm that I don't have it before I add it to the collection. But that was limited edition 145 from Emily Damali. Next up, we have another one from New Bar. This one is called Contempo, and this is an interesting shade of red. I think on camera it's pulling a lot brighter, more like a deep velvety red, but in person there's definitely a burgundy tone to it. It has some shimmer and glow. I think this is the type of polish that would look stunning matte. It does need a bit of a shake but you can see that beautiful color there on the brush. That's more color accurate. That's more of what I'm seeing in person. This is going to go in the keep pile. I could definitely see myself wearing this and I would love to see it mattified. So that's going in the keep pile. That is New Bar's Contempo. Next up, we've got a Native War Paints. I think our first in this video anyways. We have been unboxing quite a number of them as well. This one is my new sweater from the Polish Con 2018. This is another gorgeous combination. This is like a mid-toned creamy teal. It's less blue than I feel like it's coming off on camera. There is a load of this larger uh, shimmer particle in pinks and purples. There's also something else in here that I can't quite identify. I don't know if it's like a micro flaky 
or what, but this is a beautiful combination. There's that beautiful flash in that shimmer. This is another one I know I don't have, so this is going to go in the collection as well. Again, at least until I can do those comparisons. That's Native War Paints, my new sweater. Next up, we have another CBL. This one is called Uptown Funk You Up. Ooh, we have more hollow, this time in a deep orchid color, verging on a, a light berry shade. This is another beautiful color. Of course, the hollow, as usual, from Colors by Laura is just spot on. I mean, it is so glowy, so rainbowy. This one, I think, is another that has a secondary shimmer in it. You can see that there in like a pink wash across the face of the bottle. This is another color family that I for sure need to do comparisons of, but I don't think we've run into this one yet, so this is going to go in the keep pile. That one is Colors by LaRoe Uptown Funk You Up. Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Oops. So we have actually run across a few Oops from this brand, and this one is a actually very similar in shade to Uptown Funk You Up very similar. It does have a different holographic pigmentation, a larger particle, maybe even like a micro glitter. And I think I'm seeing, yeah, like a larger flaky instead of the smaller shimmer. So I wonder if this is an oops of this one, or if it's just coincidental that they are similar in tone, but it is a really pretty color. And again, I do really like this shade of color. So this is gonna go in the keep pile as well. Again, at least until I can do those comparisons. So that's Colors by LaRoe, oops. Next up, ooh, we've got another Colors by LaRoe. This color, oh my goodness. This one is, ack, it's an alien. It was the polish of the month for October, 2018. Look at the shifts in this one. Holy moly. So this is a light, sheerish purple, but look at this glow. Oh my gosh. So intense alien green with beautiful shifts to pink and orange and gold. I don't think I have to tell you, but this is going in the keep pile. <laughs> wow. I love this kind of combination. Wow, yeah, this is for sure going in the keep pile. This is awesome. And I know, I know I haven't run into that name from them before. So that, yeah, uh, this shouldn't be a duplicate. It's going in the keep pile. That's Colors by Laro. Ack, it's an alien. Next up, we have another one from New Bar. This one is called Molly Blue. Oh, interesting. So once it's shaken, it's kind of like a mid-toned pearl blue. That was not what I was expecting. There is like a purple sheen to this. I don't know if that's coming across on camera or not, but that's actually gonna be this one's saving grace. I am curious how this one will swatch with that beautiful purple shift in it, which isn't even showing up at basically at all in the bottle. But on the brush, I can see it. Oh, maybe down here at certain angles, you can see it. Again, plain camera shy, but it's there. I think you're seeing that as kind of a, blue glow but under that blue glow is a purple so yeah this is actually more unique than I was initially giving it credit for so this is going in the keep pile as well that is Nubar's Molly Blue let's do this vibrant green oh my goodness this is another CBL and this is another oops so this is a hollow in a very vibrant shade of like lime green mm -hmm trying to decide if I would say lime green or if this is another tone. Yeah, no, maybe it is a limey, a limey green. This has amazing hollow though. Per usual for a lot of the polish we've been seeing from Colors by Laurel. Now I do of course like it in the bottle as I did with a couple of the other lime greens. Now I have kept some, but again, what makes me usually de-stash these is I had one that I was really anticipating wearing and I ended up not liking it on my skin tone like at all like I didn't want to even wear it for the next few hours after putting it on so <laughs> I'm curious if this would have the same fate if it would be one that I dislike once it's on me but that hollow you guys is incredible so I want to give this one a shot <laughs> we'll have to do some comparisons again and of course try it on and see if I actually like it at certain angles, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, that, see that sort of blue leaning green? That could definitely save this if I don't like the limier tones on me. So we're gonna give this one a shot. It's gonna go in the key pile. That is Colors by LaRoe, oops. 
<laughs> Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is My Name is Indigo Montoya, Custom 2019. I almost couldn't say that one because I kept wanting to say Indigo, which I think is his actual name. But in any case, we have a Princess Bride reference and a beautiful blue polish. This has a larger shimmer particle that has some beautiful shifts in it. I'm seeing aqua and purple. I think you're mainly seeing the aqua on camera, but there's definitely a purple shift to this. So this is definitely going in the keep pile. I don't think I've run into this before, although of course the name does sound familiar because Princess Bride, but now it's Colors by LaRoe. My name is Indigo Montoya. Next up, we have another Stardust polish. This one is called Giggle Water. Ooh, and we have another blue and another hollow. So this is a beautiful shade of like a vibrant, dark blue. You have holographic. And again, there's another secondary component. There's a pink flash at certain angles. I don't know if that one is going to come through on camera this time, but it's, it's there at certain angles. Let's see. We've kept a number of blues in blue hollows. I think the closest one that I have, at least from this haul, is Kinda Jazzy, also from Stardust Polish. Not dupes, in the remotest. So um, we're going to go ahead and add this to the collection as well. This kind of family, of course, is another that I will have to do comparisons of, but I love myself some dark blue hollows as well. So we're going to add that to the collection, at least until I can do those comparisons. That's Stardust Polish Giggle Water. Next up, I see a familiar label. We have another tonic. This is a brand I have been super excited to find in this haul. It's one of my favorite brands. This one is Black Friday. Oh, wow. We have a black hollow with an extremely strong hollow flame on it. Look at that. There's also another component in there. I think this time you can see that shimmer on camera. You're mainly seeing it as a gold and in person it's gold too. I was going to say no, at certain angles, there's a pink flash to it. There might be a, might be something else going on in there, but the flame on this is spectacular. Um, black jellies have been one of those color families that I have been de-stashing. But this one is tempting. The hollow on it is so spectacular. Black hollows are definitely not something I need like a million of in my collection because I feel like most of the time they're going to look pretty similar to each other. You will have differences between holographic flame, maybe intensity and particle size, and if they've added any other pigments or glitters or flakies. So I will go ahead and hold on to this. Like I said, it is one of my favorite brands. We're going to hold on to this and put it in the do I have it pile to see if I maybe got it on one of the Black Fridays or got it through a mystery box. And then from there, of course, the comparisons. So this is going to go in that pile to check on. That was Tonic Nail Polish Black Friday. And then I see an unfamiliar label. Who is this? This is Shiny Nail Polish. So this I think is a new to me brand. If you've seen it, definitely let me know. This one is called Indigo Galaxy. Ooh, so this is another of my favorite color combinations, a purple or lavender with a blue flash. And I mean, just look at that blue glow. Wow. This is a really pretty one. Another combination that I know I need to do some comparisons of because like I said, it's one of my favorites, but we're going to go ahead and add this to the collection because it is a new to me brand. So I know I don't have this particular one, <laughs> and we'll see how it compares it to all of the other ones that I have in this kind of a color range in my collection. That is Shiny Nail Polish Indigo Galaxy. Let's go ahead and get these two little doohickeys out of the way. We've got some, ooh, some, what are these? like little metal doodads that go on your nails, maybe. They are in almost like a brown hollow faux opal finish. I'll have to see if I end up using those. I don't really like to glue things onto my nail, so we'll see if I can't come up with another way of using those, but very pretty. And we have a little stamper. So I do have a stamper. I'm not sure if this one... Oh, there we go. This one is Conad. We'll have to see how this works. This could work nicely for some nail art. Um, I've mentioned it before. I'm not fantastic. I'm not even good at stamping. What am I saying? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm not good at stamping. I have not been able to successfully stamp. Um, I also haven't practiced in many years. For the past few years, I've basically been satisfied with just painting my nails, maybe doing a layered mani, and that's about it. But we'll we'll see. I, I keep meaning to, to get her back around to it and, and trying it. But 
that'll go probably in the D stash. Um, I just don't see myself needing another stamper for the time being. And yeah, for these, I mean, they're beautiful. I just don't know what, what I would use them for. So we'll put those in the beauty section along with the body sprays. <laughs> okay, next up is another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is as Sweet Companions. Ooh, we have glitter. So this is a lavender, kind of large size glitter and black glitters in a clear base. Okay, see, I was gonna say in a black squishy base, but this is in a clear base. The darkness is just coming from the fact that there is black glitter in there. That's really pretty. So this is pretty unique to my collection as well. We'll have to see if I end up liking it over other colors. Um, but yeah, should be pretty unique. And I know I don't have this one, so you guessed it. It's going in the cute pile. That is As Sweet Companions from Rescue Beauty Lounge. I'm gonna have to add some to the D stash. I've only added, what, three so far for this video? Not doing too good. Next up, okay, let's do one that might just go in the D stash. I see it right over here from Stardust Polish. This is a no mint like this from December, 2015. Wow. So I picked this out because it is a red. Now it has red micro glitters, which I do like, <laughs> but I have kept quite a lot of red micro glitters. Oh no, it's got kind of a berry base. No, this one might have to go in the keep pile too. <laughs> Look at this. I love red micro glitters. For me, not liking reds very much. There is something about red micro glitters that just gets me every time, <sighs> especially when it's in a squishy berry or purple base. There's just something beautiful about it. So yeah, this is not going in the D stash like I thought. It's going to go in the keep pile, uh, at least until I can compare it to all of the other red micro glitter type polishes. That might be its own video is comparing all of those, but yeah, this is one we haven't run into yet. So Stardust Polishes a no mint like this is going in the cute pile. All right, let's try this one because I'm seeing yellow. This is from Super Chic Lacquer and this is Law of Nature. So yellows are another one of those color families that just aren't my favorite. This tone actually though <laughs> is kind of a cute tone. It's a bit darker than a buttercream, which has been a color that I've been wanting to keep in a yellow. How would I describe this? Maybe like a light daffodil. There is a white creaminess to this shade. I think there's also a shimmer component, but I've already kept a few yellows. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and add this to the D stash. That is super chic lacquer's law of nature. All right. Next up, we have another stardust polish. This is oops. And number two, Ooh, we have a very dark purple hollow. Look at the hollow flame on that one. Wow. So this is like a deep, indigo this is lovely this is going to the keep pile as well you guys this is amazing i don't think we've run into an that many oopses from this i think most of the time we've run into prototypes so yeah this is going to go in the keep pile as well this color is just mm, really really pretty so yep we're keeping it <laughs> again at least until i can do those comparisons but this has a different tone than at least a lot of those purples that i've kept yeah, just stunning. So that's Stardust Polish, oops, number two. Next up, we have a Colors by row. This one is called Beach Please. Now this name does sound familiar, but it is sort of a play on words. So I think I've probably seen other polishes with that name. I can't be certain if I've run into this exact polish from Colors by row before, but it is a really beautiful shade. It is a beachy aqua tone with hollow and a shimmer. You can see a pinch of gold flash at certain angles. So let's see, do I want to put this in the collection as well to compare? It is a beautiful shade. It's going in the keep pile, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so that's going in the keep pile as well. That's Colors by La Roe Beach, please. Next up, we have another Colors by La Roe. This is I Am Free. Ooh, this is a soft off white, maybe with a pinch of gray, and it's got hollow and a gold shimmer. This is the type of polish in an off white, ooh, no, definitely a light gray. Look at this, that I actually have been keeping an, uh, from a few different brands. So I definitely want to see how this one would compare to those other ones. Yeah, this is, this is a really nice one. So we're going to put this in the keep pile as well. And again, we'll, we're going to have to do some comparisons, but it shouldn't be a lot. There, there's not that many that I've been keeping in this color range, but that's Colors by Laro. I am free. 
Next up, we have another red from Colors by LaRoe. This is Little Miss Independent. So this is another one with red micro glitters. Where was that other one? I think from Stardust Polish. So here is the Stardust Polish on the right, Colors by LaRoe on the left. There definitely are some differences. The Colors by LaRoe has a, maybe an iridescent shimmer that's catching the light in like a dark blue or an indigo, plus the red micro glitter, of course, in a beautiful red squishy base. I think you can see this coming. This is going in the keep pile as well until I can do those comparisons and just see which one I want the most. I don't think I need a ton of red micro glitters, but I want to see how they compare. Might as well, right? So that's Colors by Laro Little Miss Independent. Ooh, let's do this one here. It's a rapid. This one is Tenacious. This is another brand that is up there in my favorites. And this is a beautiful shimmer. This one has a very interesting combination. The base is kind of a dusty light blue. And look at the glow. It has this very strong, well, on camera, sort of a fuchsia pink. But I'm seeing a gold and green along this edge of the bottle in person. Plus, there's some hollow in here. This is really, really beautiful. I love the dusty tone that it's taking around the edges of the bottle. So this is definitely one I want to add to the collection. I don't think I've run into this one before either. So Tenacious by Vapid is going in the keep pile. Next up, we're going to do ooh, Luna from Julep. And this one is from the It Girl line. Look at this one. This is another beautiful combination. A dusty light blue. Look at those flakies. There's also a pink to copper red maybe even flash in there. This is a gorgeous one. I am going to force myself to put it in the check pile though just to make sure that I don't own it already. But I mean that is stunning. That would make a beautiful winter polish. So Julep's Luna going in the do I have it pile. Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Red Light, Yellow Light, Green Light, Go. The shifts in this, you guys. Do you see all that? Oh, no. Again, the green is really not coming through very well. I think you can kind of start to see it there. But it is so much more vibrant in person. Wow. The shifts in this are dazzling. I think it's in a blackened base. No. A very dark purple. Holy moly. So dark, dark purple base. You have what might be a UP shift. If it's not OG UP, it's probably UP sibling because it has amazing twinkle and stunning shifts. Then you've got like this multi-chrome base to it as well or something in it that has that burgundy lean. Wow. That is really, really, really pretty. Incredibly unique. And I don't think we've run into this before. So that's going to the keep pile. That's Colors by LaRoe. Red light, yellow light, green light, go. All right, let's try to get through five more to get us to 60. And then we're going to close out this part of the series. The next one is another Stardust polish. This is Whirlpool Galaxy. Ooh, we have more micro glitters. This is in like a deep, like dusty raspberry shade. You have little tiny red micro glitters as well as holographic. And there's another component in there that is flashing in a blue. So possibly three different kinds of little tiny glitters in here. So pretty. I'm really liking the tone. This one might need a bit more of a shake up. There's a little bit of clumping, but that tone is absolutely gorgeous. So this is going to go in the collection as well. I feel like this would be pretty unique in my collection as well. So that's Stardust Polish Whirlpool Galaxy going in the keep pile. Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called The Good Old Days. And this one is a light gray with a load of like large particled shimmer in at least a couple of different kinds. You're seeing a very strong gold, but there's also pinks and blues, reds, maybe even some oranges. Let's see. Okay. I think this might be ever so slightly deeper, maybe on the brush. Those twinkles are really beautiful. 
trying to decide if I want to compare this to the other grays that I have. Mm, I think because it does have a very predominant gold, I'm going to go ahead and make myself put this in the D stash. I only have four over there in the D stash. <laughs> so we're going to put that one over there to give those ones some company. That's Color Spyro the good old days. If I look at it too much longer, I will talk myself into keeping it. Three more. Next up, we've got another Stardust polish. This is Classy Chassis. Ooh, we've got a deep vampy shade of red with micro glitters. Look at that. So I think the shade of the base of this one is, no, I was going to say a deep red, but I think it's a very dark berry shade. Look at that. I don't know if my camera's going to focus because it's got all of those twinkles but that is beautiful. So this is going to the cute pile as well. This is a stunner of a combination and should be pretty unique to my collection as well. That's Stardust Polish Classy Chassis. Next up is another Stardust Polish and this one is called Glitterati. Ooh, we have more micro glitter. Look at this fun one. You've got purples, greens, silvers, reds. Did I say greens already? Of course, the purple I know I said. <laughs> Does this have a base color? I don't think so. I think this is all in a clear base. Look at that. So this is definitely going in the keep pile. I have been really enjoying these micro glitter mixes. So this is going to go in the keep pile as well. That's Stardust Polish Glitterati. All right, one more should get us to 60 bottles for this part. Who do we want to close it out with? I think I want to close it out with one that I might de-stash, and I'm seeing gold peeking out through there. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, it's an Emily Damali. So it's one of my favorite brands, but again, it is gold. Which one is this? This is Gilded Beauties. It's a magnetic. Oh, it's a magnetic. Let's see. Oh, my. Wow. But it is gold. It's predominantly gold. So I just don't see myself reaching for this. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the D stash. That's Emily Damali's Gilded Beauties. And there we have it. That is 60 polishes for part number 23. That was just the first video for tote number three. We still have a lot more to go and I am seeing some awesome brands tucked away. I'm seeing another Emily Damali. There's some shimmer through here that I'm really wanting to see what brand that's from, but I also see tonic right there and an I Love Nail Polish. So we have some fun ones. Ooh, and the Vapid as well. So lots more fun ones to see. Definitely let me know down below which ones were your favorites from this video. And if you missed out on any of the other videos from the haul, I'll post a little playlist up there in the cards. If you're new, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And I will see you in that next one.